everyone. This is me, Roseanne. I wanted to come on and share a, um, actually, I wanted to come on and do a VR for, um, Lizzie. Her name, her YouTube name is What Lizzie Presents, and she's having a birthday challenge um, she started in October and it's going through the 19th of December. She will be picking a winner on December 25th. All she's asking for is a VR and crafter's choice. Um, she, for some reason, she has a lot of subscribers, but she's having trouble with her subscribers getting notified when she uploads a video. So she wants us to put it out there um, so that her subscribers are aware um, so let me show you what I used. Um, I used this collection, Bow Bunny, Sweet Moments Collection. I love this collection because this collection is very um, festive and it's very um, pretty and pink and it's just like fun, candy, you know. I figured it's perfect for a birthday and I had tons of it. Um, I also use this die here from Crafter's Companion. I also use these butterflies from uh, Crafter's Companion, the vintage lace. I love these butterflies because they're kind of like, um, I'll show you right now when I show you my projects. They kind of lift up and stand up on their own, which are really nice. But let's, uh, let's start off with her card. So I made her uh, this card here. And all I basically did with this was use a um, a chipboard a chipboard sticker and added a butterfly and some flat back pearls. Happy birthday to you! And then the inside says the best thing about getting the best thing about growing older is that it takes such a long time. Um, and uh, I added a butterfly here and some flat backs, and then just added a piece of the collection here and stamped uh, happy birthday to you and it says sweet moments so I thought that came out cute that is her card I also made her a memory decks and same collection so I stayed within the collection I just used that whole collection I did this memory decks because it has butterflies all the way around and she loves butterflies so I thought this would be perfect for her uh, again, I used chipboard here, all three pieces of chipboard. This is a Spellbinders die. It says happy birthday in the back. I added some more paper and then I just put my information back there. So this is her uh, memory decks. I also am gifting her two rosettes. This is a cupcake. This is a bag of like a present it looks like and then I just added some pieces from the collection on top and then uh, I gave her a foot mask um, so that was part of it and then I'm also gifting her see how this butterfly uh, it uh, it's on its own where it lifts up and then the bottom stays um, like it it detaches from the actual um, dye itself, which I really like because, you know, you can really, it's, it's, it's a beautiful dye. That whole collection was gorgeous when she came out with it. So I just added some more glue. So I'm gifting her these butterflies since she loves butterflies so much. So I had these in my stash and I figured I'd share so that is another thing that I'm gifting her. And then the main thing that I created for her was a birthday album. Now, I altered this uh, album. This was a, a very thick, white, plain, chunky cardboard. And I just added, uh, cut the paper and added all the papers to it. Um, decorated it, added all of these um, beautiful... Um, edge dies foil is very hard for me to work with because it shows the glue and for the life of me I could not get these things to um, line up e evenly it was very hard for them to line up evenly but on the front here I just used a chipboard I just uh, cut out happy birthday with the same spell binder die added two um, 
butterflies here and a little gift here. Uh, another chipboard and I added a little rhinestone here. Added two pearls here and then this foil leafing uh, foil paper here is um, part of that collection. And I'm sorry for the glare. Um, added some roses here and then um, just papered the spine here and here. And then let's get into it. I just added some pieces from the collection. Uh, I added a couple of these cards here. She can do some journaling um, if she wants uh, on each one of the cards. You know, something special about her birthday. I made this little pocket here. Um, and here I left it blank. Loved this day. Um, I left it blank here as well. I did have... I did... Um, add some glitter to all the butterflies and I left it blank so she can put her own pictures there and I just put a little cutout here same thing here she can add a picture there same thing here I think this collection is really pretty um this was part of a planner piece of paper this actually um it's I have a big let me show you Sorry, I have a big box of it. And I got it in a D stash. Here it is. I got it in a D stash. And so it comes with these like memory, uh, these uh, index cards here. Um, and it comes with these big journaling um, papers here. So what I did was I just cut them down so you see beautiful collection so I have quite a bit of this collection and um, I got this in a D stash so I used that and I, I used it to cut up to put the pages in here so here's another two pages she can add her pictures to and then as well as this and then back here it had a open pocket so I just went ahead and put some paper down I put some ribbon here and I velcroed it shut down and then I just added three uh, tags um, or four tags and I added paper back here um, and I just added the four tags butterflies so Lizzie if you're watching I hope you like this entry I had a really good time. I had a really fun time making it. Um, I hope you enjoy it and you fill it up with your beautiful pictures of your birthday. So that is it. So guys, let's support her. Um, do a VR if anything. Um, enter her challenge. Like I said, you do have time. Her challenge is going to the 19th of December. So um, there's still plenty of time. I know Christmas is crazy, but um, I, I did quite a few challenges this month and last month. And um, I really like supporting our, our crafting community. Um, I think when when you um, do a challenge, it's, it's a great thing. And um, you get to know um, more about the person and everybody that enters their challenge and sends in an entry, you get to know a little bit about them. And then you also can uh, follow them and you, you know, you follow more people. So I enjoy them. Um, and I'm going to come back on here probably tomorrow because my tree came in. Um, both of my trees came in. Um, they're not decorated yet. I'm hoping to show you my trees on, excuse me, on Sunday um, when I decorate and um, show you, you know, how cute they, they are really cute. Um, so anywho, I have a couple of things that I'll come back on and share with you probably tomorrow. I, will, I got a couple of D sashes that I'm waiting on. And um, there's some things that I want to create. So anywho, till next time, let me know what you think about the album. And bye.